Severe lung disease, and this is severe lung disease, has been reported all over the country. We have already had seven serious cases in the state of Washington from vaping devices or e-cigarette products. This is an issue both about a dangerous product from a toxicological standpoint that is a serious health crisis and a problem with lifetime nicotine addiction that an industry is trying to hook our children on for life. We've got to do better to regulate, to monitor, and to communicate to the public the dangers of these products. Now, experts have not yet identified the specific chemical that is specifically causing the physiological reaction that have caused this problem. But we know that there is a action causing this problem, and that is the predatory marketing by this industry to our children intentionally trying to addict them to various products. I'd like to stand for your question. Thank you very much. Listen, we re let me make it clear here. This is a contentious. Now, Washington State's legalized use of cannabis for adults is a well-regulated system, and that is not going to change. However, vapor products are often mixed with other things, and the Federal uh, Food and Drug Administration does not know and review the contents of these liquids. So my executive order will direct the Washington State Department of Health to take several actions. It will ask the State Board of Health to adopt emergency rules to ban all flavored vapor products, including flavored THC products.